Welcome back to the Trans QX7 series of videos. Look in the description for a link to it. Today we will be adding an SD card and putting all the files that we need onto it. So step one, get an SD card and put it in. It does not have to be really big. I mean, with the Trans X9D it came with a one gigabyte SD card and that was more than enough. I'm using a 16 gigabyte only because I plan on adding music to this later on and I will make a video on that later. But point is, it doesn't have to be much memory at all. You can just get a cheap $5 1 gigabyte card if you want. Now for the files that we need. If you uh, go to freeskyrc.com, they do have firmware for the Trinus as well as the SD card contents. But if you've been following along with this video series, we actually got the uh, OpenTX companion and firmware from OpenTX.org. And this is going to be a lot more updated because uh, at the time you're recording this, like I mentioned in the last video, these are release candidates. 2.2 isn't officially released, just a reminder. Whenever it is officially released, check in the downloads tab and it's going to be right here. But for now, uh, we're using this. So you guys watching this in the future, I don't know where they are going to put the SD card contents. It's going to be somewhere on this website, but for now, those of us using the release candidate or the beta version, let's click on whatever release candidate you download. So if it's RC14, do that. If you watch this in the slight future and they have a new RC candidate out, then you're going to pick that one. So I'm going to choose this. Then if we scroll down, just like how uh, we download the companion here, this time we want the SD card contents. So click this. Well, let me back up. It says that uh, for this RC candidate, it's going to use version 2.2008. So that's the one I'm looking for. If you're watching this in the future, it might be something different. but. Uh, because we have the QX7, we want to look under X7 and then 0008. So click that. I'm going to go back to my OpenText folder that I created. I'm going to make a new folder just because I like to be organized. I'm just going to name it SD card and place it right there. So we can go back to that folder right click extract all make sure you extract it in the same folder extract okay once it's done we can delete the zip folder we don't need it and here we go so we just want to click this one time and we will get all of this now as always hold both these buttons in power it on plug in your USB cable and now it's showing up down here. Uh, my other uh, tip is you don't have to, and this goes for all the future videos, if you want to put anything on the SD card, you don't have to connect the cable to the trans itself. You can actually remove the SD card and use an adapter and just plug the card right into your computer. It's going to be the same thing either way, so I'm just letting you know you don't have to use the cable. Okay, now if we look at this, and this is going to be different for everybody, I actually have two hard drives on my computer, so my uh, drives are going to look a little bit different from yours, but my Tyrannus is showing up on drive F, and this is not the one we want. You, we will never mess with this. If we go to E, this is my SD card because it's empty. I don't have anything on it. So if I go back to my OpenTX folder and then SD card, click this. We want to take all of this, copy it, go back to the SD card, and paste. And like I said, uh, your trans might not be on drive F and your SD card might not be on E. Mine's different because I have like a supercomputer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's, it's a gaming computer. Okay, looks like it's done. At this point, we can close this out, disconnect the USB cable, go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Now we have sounds, and a lot more actually. 
Okay, future JC here. I'm editing this video. Um, I mean, it's still more to the video, but one thing I forgot to show you. If we press the menu button to go to our models, and if you have created any models already, then you can hold down this button here and then click backup model. So let's go ahead and back up both of these. There's nothing on these. Don't worry, if you are watching this video in order and you have not created any models yet because I haven't got to that video yet, then uh, just keep this in mind for future reference. And don't worry, I haven't set these models up either. Like I said, I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm doing everything along with you. So the other thing you need to know, if you hold down the menu button and go to here and then press page to two of nine, this is going to be the SD card page and this will show you everything that's on your SD card. If you go to models, then this will be where your backed up models are placed. So if you ever do need to uh, you know, back up a model or whatever, they're right here. And now the past JC will take it from here. So at this point, you now have sounds. Uh, once you're, you fly way too far and your RSSI gets too low, you will now get those audible warnings letting you know your RSSI is too low. Now I haven't set up voltage warnings as well as uh, a bunch of other things like, I don't know, altitude warnings and things like that, but just keep following along with the video series and I'm going to show you how to set all of that up and uh, get those voice warnings as well as many other warnings. The next video is actually going to be how to get rid of this annoying robotic woman's voice and get a very good sounding real woman's voice. And like I said, there is a lot more on our Tyrannus now that we have the SD card and contents placed onto it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that now. That will be, uh, we're just going to cover everything in the future videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.